This installation training video demonstrates how to install and configure Avigilon Smart Hubs as part of the Avigilon Alta Access Control System. The Core Series Smart Hub is a modular access control unit that supports Avigilon readers and doors. It features the access control core that securely makes all entry decisions. It's configured via Bluetooth using the admin app. The Avigilon Smart Hubs utilize life safety power enclosures. The Core Series Smart Hubs are shipped with power supplies pre-installed. However, the core and expansion boards must be installed separately. This video will feature the Core Series boards in an E1 enclosure. For other enclosure models, see the installation guide for more information. Ensure the package contains an E1 enclosure with a power supply, a secondary supply, a C4 relay-based lock control module, a four-port expansion board with standoffs, a USB cable, and an access control core with or without the mounting bracket. Follow these steps to mount the enclosure to the wall. To begin, remove the enclosure cover. Next, locate the top keyhole mounting holes in the back of the enclosure. Mark and pre-drill the locations for the keyholes in the mounting surface. Partially install two fasteners to the surface on which the enclosure is being installed. Leave the heads of the fasteners approximately one quarter inch out from the surface. Next, hang the enclosure on the two fasteners and mark the locations of the remaining mounting holes. Once done, remove the enclosure and pre-drill the locations for the remaining mounting holes. Rehang the enclosure on the top mounting fasteners, install the remaining fasteners, and tighten all fasteners. Finally, reinstall the enclosure's cover. Note that the accessories may vary based on the installation requirements. The power supply, the secondary supply, and the C4 relay-based lock control module will be pre-wired out of the box. In this segment, the mounting instructions are reviewed. Mount the four-port expansion board in the upper right corner of the enclosure by snapping the board standoffs into the holes in the back of the enclosure. Next, the key components of the access control core are reviewed. Let's take a closer look at the front view. USB ports are located here. Highlighted here is the ethernet connector. Highlighted here is the backup battery. The status LED indicates that the ACU has been configured with firmware. Located here is the admin button. Next to the admin button is the power LED. Highlighted here is the power input. Located here is the SPI bus link connector. Highlighted here is the tamper input. Shown here is the LED out. Located here is the mounting screw. The core board is installed facing down, up, left, or right, depending on the enclosure model. Use the hook shown here to secure the access control core into the enclosure. The access control core may be mounted with or without the brackets. Next, we will provide information on both scenarios. Going forward, the access control core will be referred to as the core. If mounting the core without the brackets, follow the steps below. Note that the mounting bracket is optional when installing the core in the E1 enclosure of the Core Series 4-door Smart Hub or Core Series 24-volt Elevator Smart Hub or the E2 enclosure of the Core Series 8-door Smart Hub. Mount the core perpendicular to the back of the enclosure by hooking the tabs into the holes in the back of the enclosure. Next, slide the core into the enclosure. Then, gently tighten the mounting screw. Do not over-tighten the mounting screw. If mounting the core with the mounting brackets, follow the steps below. Note that the access control core must be installed with the mounting bracket in the E4 enclosure of the Core Series, 8-door large smart hub, or in the E6 enclosure of the Core Series, 16-door large smart hub, while the mounting bracket is optional in the E1 and E2 enclosures. First, loosen the screw and ensure it's not protruding past the bottom. 
slide the core into the mounting plate and secure the screw. Next, mount the assembly into the holes of the back plate with the provided push-in rivets. Only use washers in the E1 and E2 enclosures. Washers are not necessary for the back plate in the E4 and E6 enclosures. That completes the steps required to install the access control core with the mounting bracket. Now, attach the power connector to the input. Connect the enclosure tamper sensor to the designated tamper input on the core. For instance, if a power supply, a core series smart hub configured with four open path readers and locking hardware, it will use two amps. To keep the system running for three hours with all entries engaged, you need a total of six amp hour of power. To achieve this, wire two sealed lead acid or gel cell batteries in series. Connect the battery backup to the spade plugs on the FPV mainboard. Before provisioning, connect the Ethernet cable to the core. For network requirements, please refer to the installation guide. Next, connect the access control core to the four-port expansion board with the included USB cable. Note that the maximum recommended USB cable length is 6 feet or 10 feet if the cable is a high-quality, shielded cable. That completes the mounting instructions. For other enclosure models, see the installation guide for more information.